Yes, I am once again coming to you in October with a Christmas advent calendar. If you've bought the YesStyle advent calendar before, then you will understand why I need to show this to you two months before Christmas. If you've never bought it before, let me enlighten you. The YesStyle advent calendar is incredible, like legitimately incredible. And I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me for free. I'm saying that because it's probably the most incredible Christmas advent calendar you could ever buy. And if you like Korean beauty, then you're gonna love it even more. This year's advent calendar has 24 full-size products in it. And it's so popular that every year it always sells out literally the moment that they send it live on the website. So normally what they do is they launch it in batches. So every week they do a release of a limited number and they do that uh, in the months leading up to Christmas. So it's very hard to get your hands on. It's very popular. The products are incredible. If you want, you can look at the other two advent calendar videos that I posted. The products are, you know, all still available on YesStyle. You can still buy those K-Beauty products. But if you're interested in knowing what's in this year's box, then keep watching. But if you don't want spoilers, if you like surprises and you don't want to be a party pooper, you can skip to this timestamp here where I'll give you my final thoughts without revealing what any of the products are. So that way you can buy it and be surprised when you're opening all of the items. But if you want to see what the items are, maybe you're thinking of buying it for someone else or you just don't like surprises, surprises make you nervous, then keep watching. But before you do, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. And uh, give us a thumbs up on this video. The first year that I posted about the advent calendar, the video got like a couple of hundred thousand views. And then the next year that I posted about it, it got like nearly a million views and it would make my 2020 if this video about the 2020 advent calendar, if this one got a million views. So give it a thumbs up because that'll help, I think. Maybe not, but it'll make us feel validated. Anyway, the advent calendar is behind me over here. It's called Jet Set Glow. Now, YesStyle has given me some talking points that I need to tell you guys before I continue. I'm sure they wanted me to memorize these, but look, 2020's been a rough year and I don't have the brain power to know this off the top of my head. So here we go, key messages. Our advent calendar is the most sought after product on YesStyle and gets sold out instantly, which is why we're hosting a giveaway together as a gift to your audience to have a chance to experience this unique advent calendar. That's right, I forgot. Yes, we're giving away two advent calendars in today's video. Ah, very exciting, I know. Stay tuned until later in the video and I will tell you how to enter. So the release schedule of the advent calendar. October 13th, official launch. Then October 20th, the first batch. October 27th, the second batch. November 2nd, the third batch and uh, thus concludes the sale of the advent calendar. So you have like a couple of weeks from watching this video to stalk the website and purchase it. The release times are Pacific Standard Time. It goes up for sale at 12 a.m. So this is like concert tickets, you know, like elusive concert tickets. You got to stalk the website, keep refreshing the page, jump on it as soon as it becomes, you know, available for sale. So Pacific Standard Time, 12 a.m. That is 8 a.m. in the UK. France, it's 9 a.m. In Australia, it's 6 p.m. In Hong Kong, it's 3 p.m. You can probably also Google to see what it is in your own time zone. With that, we are excited to open this box because Archie loves presents. He, he just, yes, he loves them, doesn't he? Okay, so here it is. All of the advent calendars that I've had from YesStyle so far, I've kept the boxes. The first year was this adorable, like snow themed winter wonderland box. The second year was like a really big pink trunk. I use them to store jewelry, excuse me. I use them to store jewelry in. And uh, this one, this, it's like they up their game every year. The packaging gets more and more glorious. How cute is this? This is, just, uh, it's adorable. On the side, it's got like a priority luggage tag. On the back, it's got like travel looking stickers. On the side is a little Polaroid camera. The attention to detail, like uh, on the top here, sorry, let me just, excuse me. On the top here, it's even got like, you know, handles for holding the luggage. So let's open it up. Oh, oh what's in there? What's in there? Do you remember this from last year? Okay, so you've got to do this in order. You can't just open any day of the week. We have to start with number one and I, I need to locate it. Ah, what, what, one, for three day? What is that? Frede? 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 I am uh, afraid of people judging me for my accent. I'm gonna go out on a, a whim here and say that means Friday. 
in German. Oh, it's so heavy. Ugh. It says, I'm from Fig Cleansing Balm, contains finely selected fresh figs. The sorbet texture of the balm removes makeup and impurities on your skin, melting in order of balm oil milk as soon as it touches your skin. Fig oil water containing enriched carot keratinase makes skin smooth and silky even after cleansing. Apply to dry skin and gently massage to remove makeup, then wash off with warm water. Well, I only just put my makeup on, so I'm not going to try that right now, but I will smell it. Oh, it I, oh my god, it smells like fig sorbet. It's delightful, and the texture of it, it's really, really thick too. Oh, this looks delightful. All right, where's day two? Day two. Uh, head empty, brain no work. Ah, day two says pilas, pilas. Peel us, peel us. At Christmas, we will peel us some potatoes and roast them in the oven. Just like my subscribers are about to roast me for not knowing what language that was. I'm guessing Spanish. Day two's down the bottom here. Oh, what's that? Aromatica Reviving Rose Infusion Cream Cleanser, vegan formula. This packaging is so cute. Reviving Rose Infusion Cream Cleanser. A dense rose foam removes makeup residue with the powerful moisturizing essence of natural damask rose and super berry. Where's day three? That's day five. Three, hope. Ah, English. What's in there? Oh, I hope it's good. One, two, three, four, five. Pink Raccoonie Hydrogel Eye and Cheek Patch. So it says, after washing your face, apply eye patch onto the desired area. Remove the patch after 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, that's not what I expected. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this this little container here has a whole bunch of different patches in it. So there's there's a little little tiny one. Let's that one can go there. I don't know if it's meant to, but. This one looks like a love heart, and I think you tear it along here and then place it like this. Oh my god, oh, it's so cooling and soothing. Oh, that feels amazing, oh my god. So it looks like each one of these sachets has one of these in it, and each one of these has three lots of this. So you get a fair bit of usage out of this, there's a lot of product in this packet. This feels so nice. It says it's Rosa, Centifol of Flower, Water and Gold. It's delightful and it's cute. And I would actually go out of my way to buy this on YesStyle. I really like this. It feels so nice. Day four. Where is day four? That's day 19. Four. Four! Oh, look, Atty, it's down here. We have Better Than Eyes Music Series Dry Apple Blossom. I'm assuming this is a tiny bird-sized eyeshadow palette. Why? This is why we can't have nice things. Here, you have this. This is exciting and interesting. Yes. Okay, so it's a little quad eyeshadow. We have a light brown, a red, a deep brown, and a shimmery white. I obviously already have makeup on, but I purposefully put on a, just a small amount of makeup because I knew there'd be some sort of eyeshadow product in here and I wanted to give it a try. Now I cannot for the life of me talk and apply makeup. So let's just put on some lo-fi beats and you guys can watch me do my eyes with this little palette. Oh my god, there is so much pigment in this red. What? Oh, it's so much more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. Oh dear. I regret trying to do this now without a mirror. I'm trying to use the camera screen and I really regret it because, uh, oh, it's so, so pigmented. Wow. What? Those mattes are a dream. I'm gonna carry this palette in my handbag and I'm gonna use it all the time. This is, I'm not just saying this, 
this is amazing. Even if you don't get the advent calendar, you should buy this. There's gonna be links in the description box to each of the items individually. They're affiliate links, so if you buy anything, I'll get commission. So it's a good way to support the channel if you want to. You don't pay any extra for the product. And this is delightful. This is so nice to use. I love it. And I'm, I'm really happy with how my eyes look. Like it's very simple, just a really, really simple eye look, but so easy to blend, delightful product. I'm really happy with this. Oh, yes, wow, how did you know day five was next? Okay, we have Troy, Troy, you Cell Energy Mask Formula. It says it removes impurities softly. After applying, leave on skin for five to 10 minutes. So it says to leave on the skin for five to 10 minutes and then remove with disposable wipes and warm water. So I'll just pop this on a couple of spots, I guess. I mean, I'm already kind of cramming my face with a lot of product, but we're having fun, guys, aren't we? Fun. Yes. It's really bright white, isn't it? Time for day six. Um, no, that's 19. Uh, six. That one. All right. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I love this brand. This is Claire's. Fundamental Watery Oil Drop. Uh, can you open this for me? Fundamental Watery Oil Drop offers the skin the powerful antioxidant effects of Oriental Tea Complex. All right, so I've obviously still got the mask on some parts of my face, but I can put this baby oil stuff here. It's really nice and smooth to use. It just feels like a thicker version of water. It doesn't feel like oil. It really is a weird hybrid between oil and water. Seven. Uh, this one. Moonshot Tint Fit Shine Moonberry, a water coating tint that delivers pure volume shine. Wow. Guys, help remind me, what does this remind me of? What brand is it? I can literally picture it in my head. I just cannot for the life of me think of what brand it is that this reminds me of. Oh, this smells like cherries. Oh. oh God, did I just lick all of that off? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, it tastes so nice. So this is like a lip tint. It's not a really hardcore, heavy color. It's just kind of your lips, but a bit better, just a little bit more enhanced. This is quite a nice shade, a little bit darker than what I would normally wear. I also didn't apply it with a mirror, so forgive me if I look ridiculous. You know, not, not the mask patches or the white mask on my face or anything like that. That's not what looks ridiculous. It's the application of the lip product, right? That's what's making me look crazy. I don't know if I would go out of my way to buy this, it does taste delicious and it smells delicious. Maybe I'd buy it. I'm not such a lip tint kind of girl though. I'm more of a, a just normal lipstick kind of girl. And I'm sure that there's gonna be one in this box somewhere. This is quite nice. Not my favorite product. Lovely product though. I will use it seeing as I have it. Day seven goes away now. No, no, that belongs in the box. And day seven goes away. We need day eight. Eight. No, that's 18. Eight, bon, bon her, bon her, bon, is that what it says? Bon, bon her. Is that like bonjour, bonsoir, bon oui, bon die? Pew Kang Yule Black Tea Time Reverse Eye Cream. I love a good eye cream. Brightening facial areas around the eyes. So the eye patches can come off, which is making me sad because I actually kind of really like the look of them. They were very, very cute. Now this is the sort of thing, I don't know how to rate this because it, is it something that's supposed to have long-term effect? You know, if you use it every single day, is it supposed to brighten your under eyes? I guess so. Feels nice. I actually think if this was kept in, a, in the fridge or in a beauty fridge, this would be really nice to apply. Just, you know, nice and cooling. Can't go wrong with eye cream. There's no downside to getting eye cream in an advent calendar. Eye cream is incredible. <laughs> it has no fragrance at all. It's not sticky. It's not tacky. It's a very light formula. Mm. Feels refreshing. Okay, day nine. This one. The one that says peace. Do you understand that concept, Archie? Peace. No biting. Only peace. Peace. Pull. Pull with all your might. Pull. Oh, he's not strong enough. Yes! Okay, we have more sash 
sachets of something. Oh, oh dear. Oh no, oh no. Foot peeling. Oh no, no, no. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I don't, I don't think I like that. That, that terrifies me. Foot peeling is probably one of the scariest concepts. Look, I'm sure it's great for your skin, but there's just something about like applying a product that makes your feet peel that kind of scares me. Do you like that? No, I wouldn't either. Your feet might just dissolve if you do that. This is a product I'm going to skip over doing a on-camera review of. If you want to see the review of the foot peel, head to my OnlyFans. Jokes. No, there's nothing left in there, it's empty. It's empty! It's back. Wednesday 10. 10! Oh! It's written in Japanese! Something, something, re. I think that's the kanji for long. No, day five is over now. Oh! Medicia Calming Cream. The way bless your skin is Dr. Troubless. The way bless your skin is Dr. Troubless. So I've put it in my hand to test it, but it's occurred to me that I have this mask on my skin, which I have to wash off, which has actually tightened my skin. This mask that I put on earlier is tightening my skin and it feels really, really good. So I'm gonna go wash this off. Okay, so that mask has visibly brightened my skin. Can you see that? I've washed this part of my face and there's a really clear difference in my skin between this part of my face and up here. It's odd. I don't know if it's meant to be whitening, but it's, it's definitely whitened. Anyway, I, I put that cream that was on my hand, I just stuck it on my forehead for safekeeping. But um, this feels so nice. It's not scented, it's um, fragrance free, I think, or if it is fragranced, it's very, very light. I couldn't tell you what it is. Really very nice texture, this cream. I don't know what it's meant to do. I don't know what the benefits of it are. It just says it's calming cream, repairs, moisturizes, calms sensitive skin. I'm just a sensitive person all around. Everything makes me cry. So uh, hopefully this will calm me down. All right, day 11 now. McQueen Jewel Potion Eye Glitter, orange topaz. Well, that looks a hell of a lot like a Steeler product. <laughs> Can I copy your homework? I swear I'll change it slightly. Okay, so the eye glitter, as I was putting it on my lids, I tried to sort of blend it and tap it in a little bit. It ended up stripping away the matte brown eyeshadow that I had on underneath it. So I got to try and figure out how to use that product. I'm not gonna say it's a bad product, but I'm, I'm just gonna say that like, you can't put it over the top of a matte shadow. Doesn't work. Maybe it might just have to go straight on the lid with a primer, I'm not sure. Have to work with that one a little bit. Don't know what I think. Archie, where's 12? Do you know where 12 is? Ooh, mine's on. Collagen Curling Fix Mascara. Mascara contains collagen to protect eyelashes and help smooth curling without clumping and smearing. Obviously, because I already did my lashes, it's a little bit hard to rate this one, but I've put it on the bottom and it looks really nice. It's a good coverage with this wand, I like it. The formula seems really nice. It's a thick formula, but it's not sort of clumping on my lashes. Have to try this one out, obviously, once I'm not wearing falsies, but seems like a really good product. This in that box. You are so close. In the box. You're missing it entirely. Day 13, my lucky number. There's something written in Korean and I'm not even gonna to attempt to translate that. Okay, Artie, look. This, 13. Ooh, sulfur 3% clean gel. Contains sulfur, which energizes tired skin to be healthy. Is this gonna smell like rotten eggs? Thank God it smells like nothing. Because it's a spot gel, as someone with freckles, there's plenty of spots on my face. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna miraculously get rid of the spots, but give it a try. Main thing is, does not smell like rotten eggs. <laughs> Very good. 14, look at this glow. Soothing and anti-scar at once. Anti-scar, soothing acne, all care recovery, chicka aid. Waterproof, ultra thin, adhesion invisible. Simple invisible spot care solution with Centella. 51 patches, huh. Okay, so it's like a little strip like this and then it's got a whole bunch of little tiny circles inside it. I don't know if you can see them. Kind of looks like a contact lens. <laughs> All right, well, um, 
there's a spot on my forehead just there so I guess we just oh look it's it's completely clear okay and it says remove it once it turns white and it takes four to eight hours I guess I can put a picture up here after said period of time 15 is this big one which looks like an envelope that's cute Black Snail Restore Serum. Powerful skin restore, nourishing and lifting, brightening and wrinkle care. Direction, use the dropper, gently apply an appropriate amount onto your face and let it absorb. Yes, you heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. Let the Black Snail Serum absorb into your skin. <laughs> Last year we had snail eye patches and of course they, they knew how disturbed I was so they had to throw it in again this year. <laughs> Look, I, I will still use it. I will try most things. I just have to kind of tell myself that it is not snail. It's like when I was in Japan eating the snails from 7-Eleven. You just tell yourself it is not snail. So all it says is apply an appropriate amount. I don't know what an appropriate amount is, but because it's black snail juice, an appropriate amount for me is a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Let's call that an appropriate amount because, um. It's just, it's just a strange thought to me that it's snail juice. Oh, oh, hang on, did I, f oh, where's that little circle? I forgot it was there. Is it still there? Oh, it is too. Huh, I completely forgot. Hmm, this is an unusual texture. It's kind of like, it's not tacky, a little bit dry. It's like that weird liquid that when you apply it, it kind of dries to the touch. I don't know what it's gonna do for my skin. Well, what do snails do other than make people feel uncomfortable? 16. Ah, this one. Oh, it's so cute. It looks like a post stamp. Chicka powder. Place a proper amount of a toner or a serum onto your palm and dispense the powder by tapping the bottom of the container one to two times, thoroughly mix and apply it to your skin. Ooh. Oh no. Damn it. Wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. So it wanted me to mix this with toner. Um, I don't have any toner, but I do have snail juice. Why not, guys? I mean, it, snail juice on its own is a pretty weird thing. Why not add powder to it? So it says to mix it and then apply it to the skin. So I'm mixing it and it's kind of like disappeared into nothing. <gasps> oh, oh, that's so weird. Oh, oh. Oh, it, oh! Oh, I can't even explain this to you. Oh my god, it's so smooth and silky. Oh, my skin feels like velvet. <gasps> That's the coolest thing ever. <gasps> what? Oh my god, my skin feels incredible. What? It feels like really, um, very, very, very smooth. Really super smooth and like matte to touch. It's almost, the, the equivalent would be maybe possibly that touch of primer, that really expensive one. It kind of feels like that. Wow. Wow. Drop it in the box. No, no, drop it in the box. O over there. Drop it in the box. Now it's off of it. Okay, 17. Oh, down here, all the way down here. Ready? Ooh, that's a, we have something else that's yellow. Yuja Niacin Brightening Sleeping Mask. This two-in-one sleeping mask contains niacinamide 5% and Yuja extract. So it provides intensive brightening and moisturizing to skin while sleeping. So you put it on and then you fall asleep. That is the easiest instructions. I like simple things like this. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, it smells delightful. Oh, it smells so, it smells like limoncello. So this one is a sleeping mask and um, I'm not ready for sleep yet. Well, I'm only up to day 17. I'm not ready for sleep yet. I have many more days left to unbox. So this one I'm not going to apply, but it does smell like limoncello and I'm sure it's going to be delightful. 18. Urban Pearl Station Velvet Lipstick in the shade Marsala, number five. Beautiful color, beautiful color. So this says velvet lipstick and it reminds me of my mum. The smell of this reminds me of the lipsticks that my mum used to use in the 90s. I don't know if they've purposefully given it that old lady smell, but it's nice. 
pleasant. Well, it's a nice colour, really nice texture. Like this is such a lovely velvety kind of texture, it's so delightful. This is, I don't know what this brand is, Clavu. I want to try some lipsticks from these guys aside from this shade. I want to see if they've got like a nude or like a orangey, corally kind of colour. I don't know if this is my colour. I, I like it. I mean, I look a little bit weird with this super white beard from all these, you know, skincare products I've been putting on, but if you ignore that, I think this is a pretty colour. We're almost, we're almost at day 19. 19! Right here. Ooh, pink. Berry jelly, number two. Oh, there's little hearts floating in it. Why does it say I'm me? Same. <laughs> Same. Well, it's super moisturising. It's like a very nice, luscious, thick kind of formula. I don't know how long it's going to stay glossy for, but this is really cute. I love the packaging. I love the little love hearts that are in it. I, I don't normally wear lip jellies though. This isn't something I'd buy. Seeing as I have it now, I will appreciate it, but I wouldn't normally buy something like this. But if you like this sort of product, I think you'd really like this. It's very cute. 20. Where is 20? There. Look, it says mutt. Mutt? Mutt. Mutt? It's a moot point, really. Hyaluronic acid water essence. Eight types of hyaluronic acid. Moisturising essence for dry skin strengthens the weakened skin barrier. I think out of uh, all of the products, this is the best packaging. This is heavy, hefty glass. It's so nice it, and it just, it looks beautiful and this is going to be really nice to put on display in the bathroom. Again, I, I don't really know what an appropriate amount of this is to use, but let's just give it a couple of drops. My skin is going to feel very well nourished today with all the stuff that I've been putting on it. Hyaluronic acid, snail goo, strange white powder. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's so soothing. This is actually more soothing than the soothing product. Oh, I love this sort of stuff. And also it lasts a really long time because like one or two drops does your whole face. Korean skincare with hyaluronic acid is just so good. It's so good. Oh, I love this. This would be great again in the beauty fridge. It's a little bit tacky though on my hands. I want to go wash my fingers. It's not, not a little bit. It's like really super sticky actually. So yeah, maybe do this one near the sink because you'll want to wash your hands. Where's 21? Down here. AC Clear Spot Magic Powder. More powder. Oh, it's so cute. That is not powder, that's liquid. I'm so confused. I don't like the smell of this at all. It smells like feet and medicine. This product kind of confuses me. So YesStyle did send me a PDF document that had a breakdown of every single product. I haven't looked at it yet. So it says targeting acne prone skin, this two layered product consists of a top layer of citric acid to exfoliate and a bottom layer of sulfur powder to fight acne. Slowly dip cotton swab into the solution until it reaches the bottom Apply directly to active breakouts. Do not shake or mix the solution. This is why we should uh, read instructions, folks, because I shook it. I'm gonna leave it to settle. I'm not gonna use this one in this video, but it sounds like a very interesting product. I am really interested to try it, but not right now, because I am terrible at following instructions and I may have ruined it. Okay, 22. We have Probiotics Relief Mask, dermatologically tested biotechnology skincare, a probiotics mask with superbiotics, helps to control skin condition, leaving a luminous and healthy looking skin. There's five of these. I'm not quite ready to put on a face mask with all the stuff that I have on my face right now, but you know, face masks are face masks, you can't go wrong. It's sticky and wet and cooling to the touch and you put it on your face and you feel nice. What more is there to say? Where's 23? 23. Lumi Layer Primer. Application. Apply proper amount evenly on the skin before base makeup. Okay. I like how these Korean products always say, apply proper amount. Does everyone in Korea know what the proper amount is? Because I'm not quite sure. So obviously there's a big concoction of various things on my face right now, so primer is probably not the best thing to be adding to the mix, but I need to try it and I need to see what it feels like on the skin and it's really thick. This is so thick, oh my gosh. I stopped wearing foundation last year, I think it was, or maybe even the year before. I don't remember, just look back at my videos and you'll still notice when I stopped wearing it. 
Uh, I feel a lot better without it. Some people make fun of me. They're like, oh, she looks ridiculous wearing eye products and no foundation. But like, don't be ashamed of your own skin. Don't let anyone tell you you have to wear foundation. I stopped wearing foundation. I stopped getting bad pimples, stopped getting breakouts, stopped looking so crusty and wrinkly. And I feel better about the way I look naturally. I like chucking on some eyelashes and stuff, but that's all I do, eyelashes and eyebrows. And uh, no one can shame me into wearing foundation. So the primer is kind of like, I don't really have use for it because priming my skin, what am I priming it for? Looking fabulous, I guess. But if you like primer, this is a nice texture. It's not sticky, but it is very thick. Feels quite heavy on my skin. Doesn't have a scent at all. This just feels a little bit tacky. So I suppose it will help, you know, adhere foundation. Designed to illuminate the face, define facial features, Hydrating Primer combines red and blue pigments in a glowy finish. So yeah, it makes the skin glowy. That's probably why it's that sort of more sticky, thick consistency rather than a matte consistency. It's supposed to give you glowy skin. And you know what I do? I do feel like I'm glowing. And last but not least, the big boy, 24. Why does it say revive? Who needs reviving? Is it me? Is it because I am deceased from how wonderful this calendar is? It's a big product. Oh, oh, it's Agatha. Yes! I love this. <laughs> Face contour palette with professional colors matching your skin tone. I don't know about that. Okay, so I love this brand, Agatha. This is a Korean beauty brand. It's gorgeous. Their packaging's always incredible. It actually, it looks like a book. It says look book and it does look like a book. Oh, it's glorious. Wow. So we have Starburst, Pink Crush, Sahara Glow, Honey Brown, Dolly Pink, and Tangerine. They look so delightful. So I haven't prepared myself with any brushes. I'm in the bedroom. I don't have my makeup set up with me, but I'm just gonna use this puffy eyeshadow brush here. I think I'll take a little bit of this and a little bit of this. Do a little bit of both. Ooh. Okay, this isn't even a highlight brush. This brush isn't even meant for this and it's Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Wow. I definitely didn't apply that right because uh, I'm not using a mirror. There's also a contour and there's, you know, some blush colors too. Because I've come this far, I'm going to take a little bit of this orange blush here with an eyeshadow brush because I'm a booty guru. Let's do that Bella Porsche thing across the nose. That's what she does, right? Straight across here. Let's go some pink too while we're at it. Why not? I'm trying to look like a TikToker. This is how they do it, right? And now, now what do I do? I go. Knock at the door. Pull the bell. Bing bong. <laughs> Stop. Put it all over my nose. Why not? I mean, I'm getting operated on tomorrow. Stuff it up further. Why not? Why not? I really like this. This is a lovely product. I don't know about the whole um, suits any skin tone kind of thing, shade for anyone. Not so sure about that. Works for me. It's working all right for me. I would actually buy this again. I'm pretty impressed, like ignoring how ridiculously I did that. If I'd applied all of this properly, this would be really nice. Beautiful product, beautiful packaging. This brand, Agatha, is so nice. Buy anything from this brand and you will love it. It's a Excellent, excellent brand. They don't make any bad products. So that's it guys. That's everything in the advent calendar. Welcome to those of you that clicked on the timestamp to see my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Yes Style 2020 advent calendar, Jet Set Glow, is once again, they've nailed it, smashed it out of the park. No sample size products here, <coughs> Mac. One of my favorite Instagram makeup artists, Glam by Lauren, she unboxed a Mac advent calendar last year and it was laughable. Like, laughable. They were literally just giving people f samples that if you went in there and were just looking at products, they'd be like, here, have this. They were just free samples. No free samples to be seen in this box. There really are 24 full-size products. There was only one thing that I wasn't that impressed with, which was the, uh, there's, hmm, I don't know if I should say it, because I told people to skip to this timestamp for no spoilers. Those of you that watched might remember something happened with my eyes that, wasn't that great. So that product, that's probably the only thing, but also that's probably user error. I probably just didn't use that properly. So I guess aside from that, yeah, no, no complaints at all. Everything was really nice. I would buy a lot of these products myself. 
Uh, there are links to the individual products in the description box below if you don't want to get the calendar or maybe if you miss out on the calendar and maybe you just want to buy some Korean beauty or skincare. Some of them are amazing and I'm definitely going to buy them again. So with that, let me just tell you the rules of the giveaway. So the giveaway is hosted over on Instagram and the T's and C's are that the two giveaway winners will get one advent calendar each. You have to follow me, Pretty Pastel Please, and you have to follow Yes Style at Yes Style on Instagram. So follow the both of us. I'm gonna post this picture, easily recognizable. Head to that picture, leave a comment and tag two friends and say why you want to win the calendar. Also, let me know where you come from too. There are some countries that can't participate in the giveaway. I'm not really sure why. I think it's something to do with Yes Style shipping and some of the products aren't allowed to be shipped to certain countries. Head to the description box down below because there's a list of the countries that the winners can come from. So for example, giveaway winners can be from the US, the UK, France, Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Belgium, Netherlands, Austria, Czech Republic, it goes on and on. There's a, there's a list in the description box. So just have a quick check because if your country isn't on that list, unfortunately you can't be one of the winners of the giveaway and I wouldn't want you to go to the effort of entering and then not be able to win. So just check the description box below. So with that, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I love the advent calendar this year. It was wonderful again. I really feel like every year, Yes Style gets better and better and better with their advent calendar. This one is so good. I love it. The products are amazing. They're all Korean products. They're so beautiful. And also they last a really long time too. I'm currently still using products from last year's advent calendar. So if you're buying it for yourself, you're gonna love it. You're gonna have literally a year or more worth of skincare and makeup. If you're buying it for someone else, they're gonna love it. It's so beautiful. It's really luxurious packaging. Every product inside felt really luxurious and very hefty. Not a single thing felt like a cheap product. I My camera ran out of battery. Anyway, like I was saying, if you buy this calendar, you're going to love it. You will adore it. I highly recommend it to you. It's uh, valued at over 400 or 500 US dollars. You get a huge amount of value out of this calendar. It's so good. So with that, I hope you guys liked the video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.